Hello there. This is a very private video. Um, I just wanted to, to make a little short video that I would edit and put up um, in the morning. It's currently 3.36 a.m. on Monday the 18th, and I'll be putting this out later about maybe 11.30 or whenever the internet comes back on. 11.30 or 4, depending on stuff. But that's not what I'm going to talk to you about today. Today I'm going to talk to you about the title of the video. Um, are churches becoming a thing of the past? It's an interesting subject, interesting topic. Uh, the reason why I wanted to discuss this topic with you today is because I saw a news story recently that says uh, from WXIN TV, Fox 59, that says that polls found that fewer Americans attended church than ever before this Easter, which was yesterday. And um, and that got me to thinking. So, what exactly? What exactly does that mean? Um, few Americans attended church than ever before. Because um, the pandemic is pretty much at an end. People are getting back to real, uh, to, to normal, real normal life. At least a new normal, anyway. And, you know, masks are starting, people are starting to forget masks. Most of the population has been vaccinated and those who haven't have a low enough chance of catching it that um, that we're not as worried about it. And um, so that stuff's starting to go into the corner. So why would people not attend church even less than previous years? Because remember, uh, if you remember at the beginning of the pandemic, um, churches were one of had the one of the exceptions when some people stopped met, meeting and stopped having masks. Church were one of the exceptions to that rule. Unfortunately, a lot of people were like, "Why do churches get to meet without masks in enclosed spaces when you don't get to the grocery store and get actual food that you need?" Um, and you can't do that because they close and you have to wear masks and everything like that. And that was a big argument. Not going to get into that right now, but just wanted to think think about this. So why would churches becoming, or why are churches becoming a thing of the past? Or why would people think that churches are becoming a thing of the past? The reason I think that, the church, that churches are becoming a thing of the past is because churches are in a delicate spot right now. Um, the older generation that said going to church every Sunday um, and you know the, what the older generation of baby boomers and so on that went to church every Sunday and their children who went to church every Sunday because they made them go and you know so on are starting to get all up in years and starting to pass away and the younger generation who don't like getting forced to do things, who are forced to go to church um, by their parents who held held the belief that that was necessary, um, they were forced to go to church as children. They don't, they have bad memories now with churches in my opinion. They have bad memories because of being forced to go to church every Sunday. So they, so I would think, my opinion would be that they don't want to, that less people are going to church because they don't want to, because, not because of the, what, not because necessarily the message that the church is sharing, but, um, but because of the negative emotions and negative memories that are associated with going to church for younger generations, like my generation, for instance. Um, and then there's um, then there's another thing, which is the style, the way that churches do things. So, um, so the way that churches do things. Um, there's a certain um, like certain. Tab 
tactics and certain messages that churches share um, when it comes to like LGBTQ and all of that stuff. Churches are not very not very willing to accept that that's just part of life now is that some people are just going to end up on on that path and end up with those beliefs and and then churches will say that's a sin you know that's sinful to believe that those people are not going to be want uh, you know are not going to want to go to church because they get insulted and looked at by everyone because of what they what they believe which is interesting because it used to be that christians were glared at and looked at certain ways and even punished for what they believe so if you want to use a meme, I, uh, some some Christians have become the very thing that they swore to destroy. Um, but that's not every Christian. Some Christians are nice. Like, for instance, I, on Facebook and, and other places, have labeled myself as a privately practicing Christian. Uh, in my opinion, a privately practicing Christian is a person who holds Christian beliefs, you know, reads the Bible, believes God died for your sins and everything, but doesn't have the community part involved for whatever reasons. Either you're socially awkward, you're an introvert, you can't do, you don't do well in social settings, or there's no church near you that, that you, that you want to go to because of, you know, whatever, again, whatever reasons. So you're a privately practicing Christian. You're a Christian, you hold your own beliefs, so on, but you don't openly practice Christianity in community, in a church, for instance. So I think that, you know, that is, is a big reason why people don't want to go to church anymore because, um, because certain churches either are becoming our either conservative, conservative, meaning the younger generation who believes and does certain things are going to be looked at weirdly and not want, or, you know, whatever, don't share the same beliefs as those churches because they don't want to go to those churches. So the attendance comes down. Churches that are more liberal and accepting of those people, the older generations that believe that that's not what the Bible teaches are not going to want to go to that church because they teach it, and the, the t attendance is going to come down. Um, so, so either way, whether you're conservative and sticking to the Bible or liberal and accepting more newer worldly views, both of them are at, a, at great disadvantages when it comes to number of people attending or potentially the potential impact on the number of people attending your churches. So I think that churches are going to start to become a thing of the past. Now, whether that's a good thing or not, I'm not going to share my views on that necessarily. But what I do think is that that is going to become the case that less, unless people are going to openly go to church, be in community with churches. I have personally had a lot of, because of whatever reasons, I've had personal negative um, experiences with churches, uh, with this particular church that I grew up with. I don't attend it anymore for a few negative reasons, I won't get into those in this video, but um, I think privately practicing Christian, people who, pri who practice their religion privately is going to start becoming the new world, the new age, the, th the new thing in, in this world. So that's that's my opinion. Now whether, now whether I'm right or not, I'm not going to say and I'm not trying to make, trying to convince people. I'm, all I'm saying is that that's my opinion. And so, if you don't like it, uh, you don't have to like this video. But um, please, if you do like my other videos, my gaming videos, and so on, and if you like this video and the video I did on uh, commenting on what YouTube is doing these days. Um, subscribe to the channel even if you don't come back and watch any of my other videos i'm trying to get that number up um do like the video as well please and um
ring the notification bell so that you can know when I've uploaded something or gone live or whatever. Also, go over to my Twitch. I'll link it in the description below. That's where I'm mostly going to be doing a lot of my gaming stuff. Then uploading the full videos to YouTube after some editing or whatever. So, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for joining us. Tune in next time.